Hello, my name is uh, Gary Feldenbaum. I'm a principal of Advanced Decisions, and today we're going to be talking about creating user interfaces for embedded systems. When one is thinking of creating a user interface for any embedded system, there are many different factors to consider. You don't have a lot of flexibility in large screens or data input in terms of keyboards or mice, so you have to think differently. And it's important to start to think about how users interact with the system in the simple case and design for that as opposed to what types of specific technologies are available and out there that just sound good and might be hard to use. We're fortunate because technology is just moving forward so fast that there are several alternatives out there that we can choose from in designing user interfaces. Two things that I've seen fairly recently, one has a little more uh, history to it, is making appliance-based embedded systems that have their own web browser. So that what you're really designing is actually a web experience for someone with a PC or a smartphone to gain access to the appliance where the user can configure and monitor the performance of the system. We see this every day in our routers, our Cisco routers, or even a printer when you want to configure it. Another thing I've seen in much more sophisticated systems is the use of off-the-shelf tablets. Smart devices that are available where you can actually start to leverage the technology and just focus on the application, make a really good user experience with products that people are used to. Getting the user's feedback early on in terms of designing the user interface experience for an embedded system is very, very important. Understanding how they interact with the system, how they need to interact with the system is important. So I think it's, it's critical to design it with the user in mind, their training level, their understanding of computers, their ability to interact with the with computer systems, both visually and from an input. This is Gary Fellowbaum, a principal of Advanced Decisions. Thank you for watching.